From the Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter, and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter, and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. Christ is risen. He is truly risen. In this traditional proclamation of the churches of the East, the word truly reminds us that our hope is not an illusion, but the truth, and that in the wake of Easter, humanity's journey, now marked by hope, advances all the more readily. The first witnesses of the resurrection show this by their example. The Gospels speak of the haste with which, on the morning of Easter, the women ran to tell the disciples. Mary Magdalene ran and went to Simon Peter, while John and Peter himself then ran together to the place where Jesus had been buried. At Easter, then, the journey quickens and becomes a race, since humanity now sees the goal of its journey, the meaning of its destiny, Jesus Christ, and is called to make haste to meet him, who is the hope of the world. May we too make haste to progress on a journey of reciprocal trust, trust among individuals, peoples, and nations. May we allow ourselves to experience amazement at the joyful proclamation of Easter, at the light that illuminates the darkness and the gloom in which, all too often, our world finds itself enveloped. Let us make haste to surmount our conflicts and divisions and to open our hearts to those in greatest need. Let us hasten to pursue paths of peace and fraternity.